Chris Noah Selich's importance in the story of Nirvana is unfortunately sometimes overlooked. He and Kurt were the only two members of the band that were part of Nirvana from the beginning all the way to the end. The band, of course, started in Aberdeen, Washington, the town where Kurt and Chris became friends with one another during their teenage years. In this video, I'm going to read to you a few quotes from Chris Novoselic from 1992, where he discusses his childhood and teenage years, as well as Nirvana's then-recent major success. Quote, I was born in Compton, California. I'm from straight out of Compton. My family moved from there, and I moved to San Pedro, California. We moved to Aberdeen, Washington in 1979. I freaked out on the move west, so they sent me to Croatia for a year. Croatia was really nice. People were very down-to-earth. School was a real experience, very serious there. You have a lot more courses you have to take. It was economically not as advanced as the West. It was more third world-like, but there were inklings of Western culture all over. It was a pretty neat place. People seemed like they had a pretty cool disposition. In any case, after a year, I moved back to Aberdeen. Spent some wasteful years there. Decadent teenage drug haze. My brother was always a troublemaker. He'd always break his glasses and stuff like that. I got in trouble in the schoolyard once. What's your phone number so we can call your parents? I just started rattling off random phone numbers. There was kind of a little scene in Aberdeen. All the people who just kind of didn't fit in and like punk rock music kind of congregated. And we just had our own parties and we wore like thrift store clothes and we did our own thing. And I know that's when I discovered there was nothing wrong with me. I graduated from Aberdeen High School in 1984 and I never went to school after that. I always wanted to go to college, but I never got around to it. I had all these jobs, just starved and stayed in a band. I went through the school of hard knocks. Going back to teenage debauchery and kind of a weird haze, whenever it was school picture day, I would skip. Let those guys take their pictures. I won't go. All right, I got a whole period off. I didn't have access to a lot of music in Aberdeen. Kind of isolated. Started off listening to older Scorpions, Beatles, Devo, B5s. Still held on to bands like Zeppelin. In terms of Nirvana, so much has happened to me in the past year, it's like winning the lottery. Go buy a house, go indulge in materialistic acquisitions. Still found out that all my friends are with me. My wife and I have been getting along really well. Financial pressures are off us because we were always poor. The end of the month, it would always be stress time. Gotta keep the lights on, gotta pay the rent. I wasn't working, I just bring home whatever I could from the band. And she was working. And there's all this car insurance, take the cat to the vet. And now I've been alleviated of those financial burdens. It's been said before though, the only good thing about having money is you don't have to worry about it anymore. So I guess I'm pretty happy. If I don't lose it all tomorrow, hard to say. But if I was the anti-materialist that I claim to be, I'd be happy living in a wood hut in the woods. Right now as a band, we're just kind of taking it easy. Laying around, sleeping in. Trying to acquire the patent for the shovel. 